back with another video as you guys know today is real talk wednesdays and if you guys didn't go see last week's real talk wednesdays i talked about um the sacrifices that soldiers and the um and their families make while protecting our country so this week i know this is like a sensitive topic because Nowadays, a lot of people are going through this, um, whether it's on the internet or at school, within their family or in, or whatever, etc. Um, so today's topic is going to be about bullying. Now, I know that everyone has gone through some type of bullying within their life everyone i'm sure um what i have to say about bullying um i went through bullying i went through it middle school and i went through it like my ninth grade year of high school um i guess i'll talk about my the last time that it happened um i was in ninth grade fresh a freshman in high school um, and I would take a, the person that was bullying me was in my ROTC class. But the thing is, I was in ninth grade and she was in, I think she was in the 11th or the 12th grade. I'm thinking she was in the 12th grade because when I went to ninth grade, my sister graduated. My sister was in 12th grade when I went to ninth grade. So, yeah. Um, it would be like, this, basically, this girl had no reason to bully me at all. I don't know what it was, but it was like, every single day that I had ROTC class, and we was there together, she would pick on me. Um, she would say mean stuff, or she would just, we could be in our ROTC, my ROTC class wasn't that big, I think it was like, like, 10 of us maybe less than that um and she would just say like mean rude things out loud in the class so that you know everyone could hear it and they could you know they would laugh and um things like that i i feel like it was because ninth grade i was my in my rtc class i was pretty much like the teacher's pet i would you know anything that he needed to be done like far as like grading work or going to get things from like other classes and stuff like that he would ask me if i was if it was my class period so i'm guessing like she that she may have might have felt you know mad about that being and so you know i was a freshman in high school so and she was like a junior or a senior in high school. And I'm pretty sure she had been, you know, taking the RTC class for a little minute. So, it got to the point where I ended up telling my sister. Um, and at the time, my sister was pregnant. So, my sister um, wouldn't allow, you know, well, my sister and her best friend... My sister, t I told my sister, and my sister told her best friend, and a couple more of her friends. But at the time, my sister was pregnant, so she really couldn't do nothing, or they wasn't going to let her do anything. So my sister's best friend, and she's still friends with her to this day. Hey, Stacey. Um, she ended up, I don't know what she said to the girl. I don't know what she did. I just know, like, after me telling my sister about her bullying me, that I didn't have to deal with her bullying or messing with me or bullying me again because once I told my sister and my sister told her friends and whatever it was that Stacy said to her or did to her, it got the girl to stop messing with me like like that. Like I didn't have to deal with her for the rest of the for the rest of the school year. So, um, I will say that that time it. That bullying didn't really affect me, but the bullying I went through in middle school, it was like, it was horrible. So, I say this to say, 
you can't go around bullying people because you feel like it's going to make you feel better. Most times when people bully someone, it's because they're having problems within their life, within their household, or their relationships, to where they feel like they have to pick on other people in order for them to make themselves feel better or for them to think that the situation is going to change when it's really not because at the end of the day after you get done bullying this person that situation or that thing that you're going through is still going to be there and it's not going away until you take a stand and do something about it so i say this bullying is not the way to go bullying it hurts people's feelings it makes people do things to them as you can see it's been on the news a lot and within the past couple of years that people have been bullied and it's really bad with this cyber bullying people have been bullied to the point where they feel like they have nowhere to go they have no one to talk to to where they just take their life and i don't feel like you know it should get to that point like parents be mindful of your kids you know your kids better than anybody else know them so, you know, you should be picking up on the little signs, this, the little signs that, you know, my child is going through depression. Okay, why she's going through depression? Why he's going through depression? Is it because of something that's going on in school? Is is he being bullied? Is something going on that I don't know about? You know, even if, if it's to the point where you can't say anything to your child, go to one of their friends. Most times when people have friends... Or best friends, if they really, really good friends, they best friend know about it. It's probably to the point where the best friend was told not to say anything about it. But like, just this goes with anybody. If you see somebody in, in your uh, this around you, around you, like in your circle, your surroundings, and you feel like they are going through bullying. Take a stand. Don't let them go through that by them by themselves. Do everything possible to make sure that they are out of that situation. Like I seen, it's the group I'm in on Facebook, and I seen the woman. She posted about. She said that her son is going through, is being bullied every day of the week, like every day. She has videos. She can talk to two of the kids' parents. She done went to the school board. She. She said she was to the point where she was about to file restraining orders. But she was like, when she went to the school board, the school board told her to transfer. And she was like, she don't want to transfer him because she feel like um, it's just going to happen to other students. And she was asking what our opinions were. Now, my opinion was, why would you, you know, every day your son is getting bullied. He's getting beat. He's been jumped. Things have been said about him. Things have been done to him. He's being bullied to the point where he's tried to hurt himself. He's in counseling. Why would you keep him in that school? You're, you're, I'm just going to be honest. Your child comes first. Yeah, you feel like it might happen to somebody else. So all you have to do is... First, you need to take your child out of that school because why would you put your son in that predicament to constantly be bullied by the peop by these people and you know that nothing is going to change? First, take them out of the school, get them some help, get the police involved, involved, file that restraining order, file charges because whether you know whether people know it or not, bullying is against the law, and people are. People are protected against bullying, whether people follow up on the law or not. It's it's against the law. So, yeah, I was tell I like I said to her, I was like, first of all, you need to transfer him, whether you don't want to or not. Your son is constantly getting bullied, and him being in counseling and all of this is pretty not going to work if he's constantly going to this same situation every single day. So. I say that to say this. Bullying is real. <laughs> you don't have to bully people to make yourself feel good about a situation that you're going through. If you're going through this situation, 
find that thing that's going to help you get through it. And that's going to um, prevent you from doing things to other kids that potentially puts them in harm's way. Bullying is not the way to go. It hurts people mentally, physically, and emotionally to the point where these people are starting to take their lives because they feel like there's no other way to get out of what is going on between them. Just stop bullying, you guys. It's really not worth it. It's like all these people are taking their lives and they, they don't have to because you did not have to bully them because of something that you're going through. And that's all I have to say about it. I'm going to put some bullying hotlines and numbers for anyone that's going through bullying or that has a family member or a friend that's going through bullying. Contact those people because you never know. It could be a help, helpful aid that can get you or their family member or their friend through whatever they're going through in the process. I love you guys, and I will see you next Wednesday on Real Talk Wednesdays. And don't forget to go look at some of my other videos. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to subscribe and share, share, share my videos. I love you guys, and I will see you guys next Wednesday. Bye.